Training is defined by Wikipedia as teaching or developing in oneself or others any skills and knowledge that relate to specific useful competences. Training has specific goals of improving one's capability, capacity, productivity and performance. It forms the core of apprenticeship and provides the backbone of content at institutions of technology. In addition to the basic training required for a trade, occupation or profession, observers of the labor market recognize as of 2008 the need to continue training beyond initial qualifications in order to maintain, upgrade and update skills throughout working life. The Zambia Air Force, ZAF, in its quest to have a modernized Air Force, is not far from this statement. It is a prerequisite for its personnel to constantly train to keep abreast with the changing technology that is attached to flying. This is specific to the pilots and technicians. In the past, ZAF had been sending pilots and technicians abroad for computer-based ground training to keep up with technological advancements. However, in the past few years, the Zambia Air Force has managed to acquire the capability to train some of its own pilots locally using computer-based ground training systems. These play a major role in building pilots' craft and confidence by providing cost-effective, safe and yet realistic ways of training. Military air crews are capable of gaining maximum operational proficiency without taking to the air and burning aviation gas, which is costly. No? Yes. Oh, it goes up. Yeah. Just keep it down to 10. Where it says 10, keep it. OK? Yes, sir. Good. So we have an aircraft airborne here with the student on the controls. Right now, he's climbing through 2,400 feet and he's doing a speed of 125 knots. At this stage, we expect that this person has been able to do all the ground checks as per regulation, as per the checklist, that he has also mastered the emergency procedure. But this system can also be made uh, or linked in a way to these others. And so they could do a formation flight together in which any side view you probably see the other aircraft, which is this other student there, and see the other one probably in another place close to his vicinity. The L-15 Simulator Center at Lusaka Air Force Base and the ground-based training system GBTS at Livingston Air Force Base give the Air Force the advantage of refining knowledge and skills for pilots and technicians alike. The centers house different components that include interactive media centers, flight training devices, formation simulators, ground remote monitoring systems, flight training debriefing systems, aircraft maintenance systems, and the maintenance management systems. Distinguished the official opening of the L-15 simulator training facility today is significant to us as Zambia Air Force, as it redefines and opens a new chapter in flying training experience for our fighter pilots in the Zambia Air Force. Your Excellency, computer-based ground training systems in aviation have played a major role in building pilot skills and confidence by providing cost-effective, safe, and realistic ways of any experience. The advantage of ground-based computer training systems for pilots and engineers lies 
in the ability to simulate aircraft and the environment in which aircraft fly, thereby enabling pilots and ground crew to train effectively and efficiently without using actual aircraft. Owing to this advantage, pilots are able to train frequently and improve their skills on the aircraft without flying the actual aircraft, hence reducing cost of running the Air Force, which is one of our major objectives as Air Force strategic leadership. In addition, Your Excellency, ground-based computer training systems enhance the safety of our valued pilots and equipment as the operational capability of the pilot is sharpened before the use of actual aircraft, thus earlier alluded to reducing on pilot error or indeed human factor related incidents and accidents. The system also reduces on wear and tear which most aircraft suffer, hence giving aircraft much longer flying life and simultaneously reducing aircraft. As can be seen, Your Excellency, the overall strategic effect on air operations that this facility brings to the fore is the reduction of operational costs, which we believe in the near future will be able to determine how much we'll be able to, to save and use those resources to other equally important um, parts of our ever growing Air Force. You are left of center line. Even himself, we want to see and acknowledge. And the engine instruments, you can tell that it's passing through 7,000 and is maintaining speed of 316. So, for example, if a student is supposed to maintain 320, you come and show him why were you maintaining 324. All this is in an effort to improve on proficiency and efficiency. The aim is to optimize the training of aircrew personnel by cutting on time and cost. The training systems which complement aerial platforms, namely the L-15 fighter ground attack and the SF-260 TW trainer aircraft respectively, will cost effectively prepare pilots for any role which may be required, including ground support. It is envisaged that the flight simulator training facilities will not only enhance the training of aircrew and ground personnel in ZAF, but will also serve as a hub for integrated training in the sub-region in future. The system offers the perfect balance of academic simulator and flight instruction. In this regard, the President of the Republic of Zambia and Commander-in-Chief of the Defense Forces, Mr. Edgar Chagwalungu, announced the commencement of the construction of the Zambia Air Force Center of Excellence at the Zambia Air Force Flying Training School to create a new generation of fighter and transport pilots to support ZAF's operational needs. The Commander-in-Chief also stated that the center is designed to be an international center of excellence as one of Africa's most advanced and capable pilot training facilities. He added that it will be in a position to offer training in the sub-region and beyond. In my government's quest to modernize and upgrade the flight standards, and safety to the safety of the Zambia Air Force, I am happy to announce the commencement of the construction of the Zambia Air Force Flying Training Center of Excellence here at ZAF Livingston Air Base. Once completed, this training center of excellence will have state-of-the-art training platforms and facilities which will transform the Zambia Air Force Flying training school to a new generation of jet, helicopter, and transport pilots. This is aimed to supporting Air Force operational needs. The center 
is designed to get international center of excellence capable of offering training in the Sanic region and beyond. With this position, Zambia will be contributing positively to the growth and sustainability of the global aviation industry. It is for this reason that the Air Defense Forum under the United States Africa Command, quoting a 2015 Global Firepower Study, ranked the Zambia Air Force as seventh among African countries in terms of training aircraft. The Zambia Air Force is slowly and carefully being expanded in line with the Vision 2020 of creating a lean, well-equipped, well-trained professional tactical air force capable of responding to the airport needs of the 21st century Zambia. The Zambia Air Force is charged with the responsibility of providing round-the-clock air defense and surveillance of the Zambian airspace. Apart from radars, the Zambia Air Force acquired remotely piloted aircraft systems, RPAS, or Unmanned Aerial Vehicles, UAVs, to be used for target decoys, combat missions, research, development, and enabling the execution of high-profile and time-sensitive missions. Our capacity in the ability to defend the Zambia airspace and carry out our, our roles of defending the airspace have tremendously increased despite the main challenges that your government continues to overcome. Let me assure you, Your Excellency, the Swedish Department is that we will look after this equipment and infrastructure that has been given to us for the defense of our country and guard it generously. We will continue to grow our own internal capacity and capabilities to match the ever increasing modern platforms on our inventory. In order for the Zambia Air Force to finance all these modernization projects, command thought it prudent to venture into the public-private partnership project, PPP, as an innovative way to generate extra income. The government of the Republic of Zambia, through the Ministry of Defense, authorized development of the commercial and social facilities in the Trimpam Air Force Base Area using a PPP model. His Excellency, the President of the Republic of Zambia, Mr. Edgar Chagwalungu, officially launched the ZAF PPP project in 2016 in ZAF Trimpam and since then works to construct housing units, sports complexes, shopping malls, hotels, conference centers, recreation facilities, filling stations, a ZAF academy, a university and nurses have since commenced. Once completed, ZAF will be able to benefit by receiving a certain percentage of proceeds realized from running the venture throughout the concession periods and after the concession of about 20 to 28 years, the facilities will become Zambia Air Force property. Your Excellency, let me also state that we have not just sat back as Air Force solely depend on government funding, but have engaged ourselves in supporting government financing options. To this end, Your Excellency, we are actively pursuing the public-private partnership initiative in program with our partners, namely Kingsland City and the Dream Town Investment in Atom and Shangri-La. Today, Your Excellency, we are among the pioneers, practical pioneers of the public-private partnership initiative from the time the Public-Private Partnership Act Number 14 of 2009 was established when so it passed eight years ago, Your Excellency. I can confirm to you that this amount of facility infrastructure project that the Zambia Air Force is doing with our PPP partners, earlier alluded to, through a special purpose Zambia Air Force vehicle, has advanced tremendously and will soon invite you, Your Excellency, to check on the progress made so far. Basically, we are creating a new district in Zafra, With the modernization of infrastructure and equipment in Zaf,
There is no doubt that the rating of the Zambia Air Force is set to improve further and the sky is not the limit as the Zambia Air Force is destined for high heights. Happy Air Force Day, Zambia Air Force. Thank you.